All new at six, heartbreak and mourning at Clark Atlanta University after someone shot and killed 20 year old Jatan Sterling. In the last two hours, friends and loved ones held a vigil to pay their respects. And just this afternoon, Sterling's high school baseball coach spoke with 11 Alive. I did all this work with these kids. I gotta bury this rat. I gotta bury him. Right now, Atlanta police are still looking for whoever shot and killed him. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates joins us now live with much more. Bobeth. Well, Jennifer, it's just a very sad day here. Um, and behind me, you see a memorial now sits in Jaton's honor. You can literally see a cross and also candles right there as people get ready to once again gather. Now, students we spoke to say they're distraught about losing a member of their student family, and but they're also concerned that the school did not send an alert right away after the shooting happened. I saw his body from the parking lot. Um. Clark Atlanta University student Jada Somerville is among those mourning the loss of 20 year old Jaton Sterling. One of our peers was lying on the floor for 10 minutes, his body uncovered for anyone to see. Atlanta police says Sterling was shot multiple times in the parking lot of the Lifehouse Catholic Church Tuesday afternoon. While police don't believe this was random, students tell us it sparked a lot of safety concerns with the shooting just feet away from student housing. Where was, you know, campus security? Where was the cameras? Where was any Anybody to help him really like where is all this support you're supposed to get in college where was that for him both students told us they never got a safety alert from the school just a short email hours later after the victim was identified 11 alive reached out to Clark Atlanta today and asked why an alert wasn't sent but the school didn't respond to any of our questions they sent an email with two or three sentences with condolences and it's unacceptable Y'all should be ashamed, really, because that was a very active student on campus. He was very loved on this campus. I don't know one person who could say a negative thing about him. When we checked with police today to see if anyone was arrested yet, they told us there were no updates. In the meantime, students say something needs to be done to help students feel safer. We have a Panther Safe app. No alert was sent. And I know from multiple times when I stay on campus, how many times I heard gunshots on campus and nothing happened. I I came for education. I ain't came, come to be in a war zone. I could have stayed in New York for that. Now, the police says they need help finding who's responsible for this. And they say if you have any details that may help lead to an arrest, you should call Crime Stoppers. That number is 404-577-TIPS. Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News. All right, Bobeth.